In 2028, the government revealed that the world's energy resources would run out in just five years. To find a solution, a team of scientists and engineers was sent to the Cloverfield Space Station to test the Shepard Particle Accelerator. If successful, this device could provide Earth with an endless supply of energy. Ava, a British engineer, was hesitant to leave her husband Michael behind. They had recently lost their children in a tragic fire, and Ava wanted to be with him to help him heal. But Michael convinced her to join the mission, saying that if she didn't find a solution, they would all die anyway. Ava joined a diverse team of experts from around the world, including Commander Jason from the U.S., physicist Ernst from Germany, Dr. Monk from Brazil, engineer Gordon from Ireland, engineer Sasha from Russia, and engineer Ling from China. Despite their differences, the team worked well together, but unfortunately, they failed to activate the Shepard device on their first few attempts. Over the next two years, Ava kept in touch with Michael through video calls, and he updated her on the dire state of the world. She also found comfort in watching old videos of her children. The mood on the space station was tense, as they only had enough power for three more attempts, and the chances of success were slim. The crew of the space station was getting bad news from Earth. The world was in chaos because of wars over oil, and some people believed that the Shepard device was too dangerous to use. They thought it could create portals to other universes and let monsters into our world. This made the crew anxious, and they started arguing with each other. Sometimes these arguments turned into physical fights, and the commander had to step in to stop them. But when it was time for the 47th test, the crew put aside their differences and focused on the task at hand. They did a lot of calculations and were very careful and finally, they were able to create a beam. However, it didn't last long, and the beam overloaded and exploded. The explosion was so powerful that it shook the entire space station, throwing the crew from the ceiling to the floor. The power went out, and a fire started near the Shepard device. Ernst quickly opened the ventilation vents to space, which helped put out the fire. But now the crew had to figure out how to fix the power system, which was a big problem because it was all mixed up. Luckily, the backup power system kicked in, and the crew had electricity again. But the main power system was damaged and needed to be repaired or replaced. The crew of the space station was facing a new crisis. The oxygen tanks were leaking and their reserves were running low. Ava tried to contact Earth for help, but there was no response. When the engineers checked the communication system, they made a shocking discovery. Earth was nowhere to be found. The crew's first theory was that the Shepard device had somehow thrown them across the galaxy. Ava checked her personal communicator and confirmed that she couldn't contact her husband either. This dire situation sparked another argument among the crew as they looked for someone to blame for the malfunction. Commander Jason took a moment to compose himself, then broke up the arguments and reminded the crew that their priority was to survive. He assigned each person a repair task to work on, but when Ava and Sasha went to check on the gyroscope that aided in the station's navigation, they found it was missing. Things were getting stranger by the minute. Sasha kept touching his face because he felt something bothering him under the skin, and there were weird groaning noises coming from one of the walls. Another argument broke out because half of the crew didn't want to break down the wall and risk releasing something dangerous. As soon as the crew removed the panel, they were shocked to find a woman named Mina stuck among the wires. Nobody knew who she was, but she mentioned Ava's name. The crew quickly cut the wires and took Mina to the infirmary, where they put her to sleep so that Monk could treat her without causing her more pain. Meanwhile, back on Earth, Michael woke up in the middle of the night to find his house shaking. He looked out the window and saw explosions happening outside. When he checked his phone, he saw messages from friends and family freaking out about a possible European invasion that had reached the USA. Michael tried to find more information on the internet, but the government was being secretive about what had caused the explosions. Michael called the hospital where he worked to see if he was needed, and he was shocked by what he heard. The situation was much more dire than he had thought. Back in the space station, the crew was arguing again. The gyro was still missing, the system was still scrambled, and a mysterious woman had appeared inside the wall. They felt completely lost and unsure of what to do. Commander Jason told everyone to go back to work on the repairs, as they were still the top priority. However, Ernst was not satisfied with Jason's leadership and asked Ling to meet him in the X-Deck to discuss taking control of the situation. Ernst was fed up with Jason's orders and wanted to take matters into his own hands. Sasha overheard Ernst's conversation with Ling and became increasingly paranoid. While trying to fix the Shepard device, Ernst snapped and yelled at Ling, who quickly put him in his place and reminded him that they were a team. Meanwhile, strange things were happening 
happening on the station. In the rec room, the foosball was moving on its own, and in the greenhouse, Gordon discovered that the worms were gone. Sasha became obsessed with his skin and kept looking at his face in the mirror, convinced that he could see something crawling inside him. Suddenly, Sasha's left eye moved on its own, and he began talking to himself in a creepy tone. He then went to the 3D printer and made a gun, which he used to threaten Ernst and Ling, accusing them of being part of a secret conspiracy. However, Sasha's body began to malfunction, and he started coughing and vomiting before collapsing to the floor and having a seizure. The crew took Sasha to Monk, but before the doctor could do anything, Sasha vomited up the missing worms and died. Ava was devastated and went to her room to try and process what had just happened. However, she returned when she heard that Mina had woken up. Jason was wary of Mina, but Ava approached her and asked her what she was doing on the station. Mina replied that she had been on the station for two years and knew all of the crew members except for Ling. Ava tried to explain to Mina that Ling was the shepherd engineer, but Mina insisted that she was the one who held that position. Mina also claimed that Ava was supposed to be on Earth and that they had been friends as part of the team's civilian coordinator. However, Ava still had no memory of Mina or her role on the team. Mina became upset and emotional, feeling like nobody knew who she was. She clung to Ava and whispered in her ear, warning her not to trust Ernst because he was the one who had sabotaged the ship. When Jason heard about this, he checked the system and found emails that confirmed Ernst's betrayal. He immediately went to find Ernst and confronted him, beating him up and locking him in a room as a prisoner. Ernst denied any wrongdoing, but Jason didn't believe him. Meanwhile, on Earth, the situation was getting worse. Citywide destruction was reported, and Michael was driving to the hospital to help with the emergency response. He tried to contact the base to send a message to his wife, Ava, but was told that they had lost contact with the space station. As Michael was driving, he saw a giant shadow walking away from a destroyed house. He stopped the car and got out to investigate, and that's when he heard a young girl, Molly, yelling for help. Michael took Molly with him in the car, but they couldn't go to the hospital because it had been destroyed too. Michael took Molly to a shelter that belonged to a friend who was out of town where they could wait safely. He promised Molly that she would be reunited with her parents later. Meanwhile, on the space station, Gordon was working on repairs when a strange hole appeared on the wall and swallowed his arm. The hole was able to move around the wall and drag Gordon with it. Jason and Ava heard his cries for help and came to pull him out. But when they finally freed him, Gordon was shocked to discover that he had lost his arm. Monk examined the arm, but he couldn't find any clues as to what had happened, especially since Gordon swore that it didn't even hurt. Things took a strange turn when the door to Ernst's room opened on its own, and he came out to find something in the corridor that made him call the crew. Everyone joined Ernst and found Gordon's arm crawling on the floor. Gordon swore that he wasn't controlling it, so the crew put the arm under a glass box. Ernst explained that this proved the conspiracy theorist right. The Cloverfield paradox was real, and two realities in a multiverse were fighting to occupy the same space, creating chaos. The arm started making writing gestures, and the crew brought it a pen. The arm used the pen to give a message. They needed to check inside Sasha. The crew followed the arm's instructions and were shocked to find the missing gyroscope inside Sasha's stomach. They quickly put it back in the system, and managed to fix the scrambling, which revealed that the station had been upside down and moved during the explosion. As soon as they fixed these issues, they were able to find Earth again and receive signals from the planet. However, the news clips that appeared on the screen were disturbing. They talked about a 14-month-old world war that had been caused by the destruction of the Cloverfield Station, which had fallen in the middle of the ocean. Ernst quickly realized what was going on. He explained that the crew and the station had jumped into a different universe, where the original crew was dead, except for Mina. Ernst wanted to fix Shepard and fire it again to return home, but Monk and Gordon wanted to help the people on this Earth. Ling disagreed, thinking that it was too late to make a difference on this Earth. He believed that they should go back and prevent the war from happening on their own Earth. Ernst stopped the argument by pointing out that going back was their only option. He explained that the longer they stayed in this universe, the weirder effects they would experience. Later, when Monk checked on Mina, she explained that her station had also failed when Shepard overloaded, and she could tell that they were a crew from a parallel dimension. Ernst and Ling thought that condensation had caused the Shepard to overload, so Ling went to fix the ventilation to help with that problem. Ernst confirmed that the fix solved the issue, but Ling couldn't come back because the door had locked on its own and the room was being filled with water coming out of the ventilation vents. Ernst, Ava, and Jason rushed to help her, but they couldn't override the locking code, and they didn't have enough strength to pull it open manually. Eventually, the pressure of the water broke open the outer door, and Ling died when she was hit by the vacuum of space.
space. After the crew had a moment to grieve, Ernst wanted to get back on the repairs because losing Ling proved that being there was dangerous. However, they couldn't finish fixing Shepard without Ling's expertise. Ava pointed out that Mina was the Ling of this universe, so she should have the same knowledge. Jason continued to be wary of Mina, but they didn't have a choice. They had to trust her if they wanted to fix Shepard and get back home. Back on Earth, Michael was sure that the paradox Ava had told him about was behind all the strange occurrences. Michael was trying to locate Molly's parents when the shelter began shaking and a monster roar was heard outside. The situation on Earth was getting more and more dire. In the station, Mina was finally allowed to leave the infirmary, and she agreed to help the crew if she was given all of Ernst's research to help her Earth. Ernst protested, but Jason reminded him that they would be leaving this dimension, and the Ernst from this world was dead, so he accepted the deal. Mina would need a lot of power to fix the final section of the Shepherd, and the crew began working on that while Ava took Mina to her new room. Ava also took the chance to ask Mina why the Ava from this universe had stayed on Earth, and Mina played a recording to show her that in this universe, her children were alive, and she had stayed with them. The crew was trying to figure out where to get the power they needed to activate the Shepherd again. They thought they could shut down the oxygen temporarily, which which would give them two hours of oxygen to fire the shepherd. When they returned to their universe, the now working shepherd should provide power to turn on the oxygen again. Ava interrupted the crew's discussion to ask Jason for permission to take a pod to Earth to see her kids. Jason explained to Ava that her plan to go to Earth went against protocol and that she may end up seeing herself, but Ava explained that she needed to warn her family about the fire that killed them in her world. Jason reluctantly allowed her to go. The crew began working on their plan and Gordon went to shut down the oxygen tanks. The idea worked, and the shepherd began activating, but Gordon started noticing weird magnetic problems around him that took his tools away. The metallic sand he had used to fix the wall also reacted and grabbed Gordon, trapping him on the wall before the weird magnetic field caused the oxygen tanks to explode, causing a huge part of the shepherd to blow up. Mina informed the crew that the maintenance deck was getting more unstable with every rotation, and they needed to decouple it to survive. While Ava, Jason, and Monk suited up for the mission, Ernst reminded Mina that he wasn't the same guy who had betrayed her, but she stayed cold. The trio went outside and approached the maintenance ring, but they found it jammed which meant they would have to jettison it. Monk and Ava began making their way back to see if there was a way to do this remotely, but Jason knew it could only be done with the door closed, so he stayed behind to keep it locked manually. After saying goodbye to Ava, Jason jettisoned the ring, sacrificing his life to save his crew. Meanwhile, on Earth, Michael was watching old videos of Ava when he received a message confirming that Molly's parents had been contacted. This gave him hope and inspired him to record a video saying goodbye to Ava in case he was dead when she returned. In the station, Ernst confirmed that they only had 43 minutes of oxygen left. Jason had left Ava in charge, so she gave everyone their next chores. She decided to fire Shepard twice, first to overload it and send them back, and the second time to make it power the station. She also announced that Monk and Ernst could go back, but she would be leaving with Mina to Earth on a pod. However, Mina had other plans. She took the chance to steal the gun and used it to knock out Ava. Then she activated the pod to make Ava leave alone, while Mina went after the others. Fortunately, Ava woke up quickly and saw Mina's plan, so she had to choose between staying in the pod or saving her friends. Mina found Monk first and shot him to get the key for the Shepherd, which she wanted to keep to save her planet. Ava decided to cancel the pod and come looking for Mina, but by the time she arrived, Monk was already dead. Mina then went after Ernst, although her shot wasn't in a vital spot because she needed him to control the Shepherd. She admitted that she wanted revenge for her crew, and Ava knew she had to stop her. But Mina pointed out that Ava couldn't have both Shepherd and her kids. Mina also swore that she didn't mind killing three people to save eight billion. While the women argued, Ernst picked a tool from the floor and hit Mina, giving Ava the chance to run away. Ernst and Mina fought for the gun, which was accidentally fired and knocked Ernst out. Mina went after Ava, trying to manipulate her into coming out by playing the recordings of her children. When Mina came close enough, Ava jumped on her and started a fight using objects from around the room. Ava struggled for the gun and shot out the window, causing Mina to be ejected into space. Ava held herself onto the furniture until she could crawl out of the room and close the door to be safe. Afterward, Ava took Ernst to the infirmary and took care of his wounds. Since it was only the two of them left, Ava couldn't go back to Earth. She sent a message to herself to warn her about the fire and 
remind her that being with the family was the most important thing. Next, Ernst and Ava overloaded the shepherd, and the beam once again transported them between dimensions. The duo could see Earth again, and immediately contacted the base, confirming that Shepard was working and getting permission to come back. Once the Shepard was activated for a second time to start the production of energy, Ernst and Ava got on a pod to go home. Michael got a message from the base confirming that his wife was fine and that they would soon reunite. However, Michael freaked out and asked the higher-ups to tell Ava not to come. As the pod came closer to Earth, a giant monster burst from the clouds with a loud roar. And with this, the story comes to an end. Thanks for tuning in, guys.